Today's topic is estrogen and androgen, and later on we will also discuss contraceptives. Uh, estrogen and androgens, these are sex hormones which are produced by gonads, and they are important for conception, embryonic maturation in fetal life, and development of primary and secondary sexual characteristics at puberty. Hormones are also used therapeutically in different um, diseases, especially hormone replacement therapy and in management of menopausal symptoms for conception and antagonists of hormones are used in cancer chemotherapy. All hormones are synthesized from the precursor that is cholesterol. Classification or summary of sex hormones has been given on page number 317 and 318 in Lippin Court. Please consult. It can be divided into female hormones and male hormones. The main female hormones are estrogens. Then we have serms, selective estrogens receptor modulators. We have progestogens, antiprogestins and male hormones, androgens and anti-androgens. For detailed study, please consider these pages. Now estrogen. <coughs> Estradiol are the most potent estrogen which is produced and secreted by ovary present in premenopausal women. Estrone is metabolite of estradiol with one third potency of estradiol. It is the circulating estrogen in blood after menopause and it is produced by conversion of androstenedione in peripheral tissues. Another estrogen is estriol which is also metabolite of estradiol. It is uh, significantly less potent than estradiol and it is present during pregnancy as it is produced by placenta. There are two sources of estrogen. Estrone obtained from pregnant mare urine is, also, is used in oral preparation of hormone replacement therapies. And we have some plant derived estrogen as well, for example, ethanyl estrogen. Mechanism of action of estrogen is given on page number 380. The diagram explains how uh, estrogen produces its mechanism of action. Hormones are present in plasma in form of sex hormones binding globulin. When it reaches target cell, it dissociates into hormones and these hormones then diffuses across the cell membrane and they bind to specific nuclear receptors in target cells and form steroid receptor complex. Over here, this uncovers the DNA binding domain and you can see this is the complex which then binds to DNA and stimulates synthesis of specific RNAs and proteins and these then further produce physiological functions. There are other pathways uh, of these hormones. <coughs> For example, in the membrane of hypothalamic cells, these estrogen initiate second messenger cascades. And another is estrogen mediated dilation of coronary arteries which occur by the increased formation and release of nitric oxide and prostacyclin in endothelial cells. Now, therapeutic use of estrogen. The primary indication of estrogen therapy is menopausal symptoms in post-menopausal women. 
However, it is important to remember that for women who have an intact uterus, a progesterone is always included with estrogen therapy because the combination will reduce the risk of endometrial carcinoma. However, in women who have undergone a hysterectomy, we are only supposed to use estrogen therapy because progestins will unfavorably change the beneficial effect of estrogen. The amount of estrogen used in replacement therapy is always less than the dose which we use in oral contraception. And so the adverse effect of estrogen will be less as compared to when we use it in contraception. It is important to know that transdermal patches is also very effective in treating postmenopausal symptoms. And if women only comes with urogenital symptoms such as vaginal atrophy, then it should be treated with vaginal drugs. Now some of the symptoms of postmenopause is osteoporosis, vasomotor instability which results in hot flushes and urogenital tract issues. Now osteoporosis which usually results in hip fractures or vertebral fractures. Estrogen not only decreases the desorption of bones but uh, it is important to note down that it has no effect on bone formation. It can only decrease the desorption of uh, bone. Estrogen um, decreases the frequency of fractures. However, it is um, it should be noted that if the dietary calcium intake is improved and uh, the patient is asked to perform weight bearing exercise, this also slows down bone resorption. Uh, treatment with estrogen should be started as soon as possible after menopause. The next is contraception. Combination of estrogen and progesterone have been found highly effective in contraception. We will study this in detail later on. Some other are uh, in young women who are suffering from primary hypogonadism. Uh, estrogen is used along with progesterone because estrogen therapy mimics the natural cyclical pattern of menstruation. And so when it is used in combination with progesterone, it stimulates the development of secondary sex characters in young women that is from around 11 to 13 years of age and it is highly effective. It is also used in uh, premature menopause or premature ovarian failure and this treatment should be continued until the age of 50 which is the average age of normal menopause. Pharmacokinetic of estrogen Naturally occurring estrogens are readily absorbed through GIT, skin and mucous membranes. Synthetic estrogen analogues which are given by oral route has higher potency than naturally occurring estrogen. Uh, bioavailability of oral estrogen is less because it passes the first pass effect. So it is better to give them transdermally by injections or intravaginally. The parent drugs and their metabolites are excreted into bile, then they are reabsorbed by enterohepatic circulation and the inactive products are excreted in urine. Adverse effect of estrogen. These are nausea, breast tenderness, breast and endometrial cancer, postmenopausal uterine bleeding, thromboembolism, MI, hypertension, headache and peripheral edema. The second group is selective estrogen receptor modulator or SERMs. These include clomiphene, relaxifen, tamoxifen. These are the non-steroidal compounds which binds to estrogen receptors competitively 
and produce their estrogenic or non estrogenic effects on the target tissues. Now, action mechanism of cells. Tamoxifen and relaxifen competes with estrogen for binding to the estrogen receptors in breast tissues. Reloxifen decreases bone resorption, so decrease vertebral fracture, so can be used for osteoporosis and HRT. They have no effect on endometrium. Clomiphene acts as partial estrogen agonist and leads to stimulation of ovulation. Therapeutic uses Demoxifen is used in breast cancers uh, and that is palliative treatment. That is, they relieve the symptom, however, they do not cure the disease. Reloxifen is used in prophylaxis of breast cancer and osteoporosis. Then we have clomiphene, which is used successfully to treat infertility and especially those which are associated with anovulatory cycles. However, it is ineffective with women uh, who have um, uh, ovulatory dysfunctions due to pituitary or ovarian failure. They are readily absorbed after oral administration, metabolized by liver, undergo enterohepatic circulation, uh, circulation and root of excretion is through bile into feces. Adverse effects Demoxifen causes hot flushes, menstrual irregularities, prolonged use results in endometrium hyperplasia and malignancies. Uh, Demoxifen has some drug interactions. If it is given with amiodarone, haloperidol, or um which are uh, cytoplasmic 450 inhibitors, uh, sorry, CYP 450 inhibitors, and it decreases efficacy of tamoxifen. Reloxifen causes like cramps and DVT, pulmonary embolism, and retinal vein thrombosis. Clomiphene, they cause flushes, visual disturbances, ovarian enlargement and multiple buds such as twins and triplets. Now progestin. progestogens. Progesterone is naturally produced in response to utilizing hormones by both sexes. Female by corpus luteum and placenta and in females by, sorry, in males by testes and in both sexes it is produced by adrenal cortex. Progesterone in females promote the development of secretory endometrium for implantation of embryo. And it later on prevents ovulation to help continuation of pregnancy. However, if pregnancy do not occur, the progesterone production is stopped abruptly by corpus luteum and so results in onset of menstruation. Mechanism of action of progesterone, progestogens. It increases hepatic glycogen, it decreases sodium reabsorption in the kidney, increase body temperature, decrease some plasma amino acids, and increase excretion of urinary nitrogen. Therapeutic uses of progestogens. The major clinical use is contraception. It is better to use estrogen in combination with progesterone or progesterone by itself is not widely used as a contraceptive therapy because of its rapid metabolism. Progestins used in contraception are more stable to first pass metabolism so it allows lower doses to be used for oral administration. Most progestins, uh, most synthetic progestins 
are oral contraceptives. For example, norethindrone, norethindrone acetate, norgestrel, and levonorgestrel. They are derived from 19 nor testosterone and possesses some androgenic activity because of their structure similarity to testosterone. Medroxyprogesterone is an injectable contraceptive. They are also used in DUV, that is dysfunctional uterine bleeding, dysmenorias, and management of endometriosis and infertility. Pharmacokinetic of progestogens. Progesterone is rapidly absorbed from oral after oral administration. It is metabolized by liver and then excreted by kidneys. Synthetic progestins are less rapidly metabolized. Oral progest uh, progesterone has half-life of 30 days. But IN or subcutaneous if given, they have half life of 40 to 50 days and so it can provide contraception for 3 months. However, those which are used for daily use, daily use, the dose of progesterone will have half life of 1 to 3 days. The adverse effect of progestogens. Those are headache, depression, weight gain, change in libido. 19 known testosterone derivatives have androgenic activity. Example, they produce acne or hirsutism. The next class is antiprogestins or mephiprestone. It is progesterone antagonist and so it causes if given to patients early in pregnancy, it will cause abortion due to decreased progesterone. If it is given in combination of prostaglandines, the drug is known as misoprostol and it is used in inducing uterine contraction and termination of pregnancy. However, its side effects are that it will cause, it may cause incomplete abortion or excessive uterine bleeding. It is also used as emergency contraceptive. Next class is androgens. Androgens it is naturally occurring are testosterone, DHT, and DHEA, and denazole. Androgens are steroids that have anabolic or masculinizing effects in both male and female. Testosterone is produced by lytic cells in the testes, thecal cell in ovaries, adrenal glands in both sexes, DHT and DHEA is also produced by testes. Uses. Testosterone is the male sex hormone. It is very important for male maturation, sperm production, increased synthesis of proteins, and hemoglobin and it decreased bone marrow resorption. Mechanism infection of androgen is similar to estrogen. Androgens bind to specific nuclear receptors in target cells. The hormone receptor complex then binds to DNA and stimulate the synthesis of specific RNAs and proteins. In liver and muscle, androgen directly acts as ligin. In prostate, seminal vesicle, skin, it is converted by 5 alpha reductase to DHT, which then binds to the receptor. In brain, liver, and adipose tissues, testosterone is first biotransformed to estradiol, and then it acts on target cells. Therapeutic uses of androgens, it has both androgenic and anabolic effects. Androgenic steroids are used for males with inadequate androgen secretion because of hypogonadism and hypogonadism can be uh, due to testicular dysfunction. Hypogonadism may be primary hypogonadism or secondary hypogonadism. Uh, 
if it is due to secondary hypothyroidism, which is most probably due to failure of hypothalamus or pituitary failure. Um, in both cases, we can use endogenic steroids. Anabolic steroids can be used to treat senile osteoporosis and chronic wasting which is associated with uh, HIV or cancer. It can also be used in severe burns or to speed up recovery from surgeries or any other chronic debilitating disease. Androgens are also used in endometriosis. The most widely used drug is Denzol. Denzol is a mild androgen which is used in the treatment of endometriosis and fibrocystic breast disease. There is an unapproved use of androgens or you can say drug abuse of androgen. It is used by athletes and bodybuilders to increase lean body mass, muscle strength, and stamina. DHEA is a precursor of testosterone and estrogen and has been very famous as anti-aging hormone or a performance enhancer. And it is readily available in markets and stores. However, it is important to know that there is no definitive evidence that it is a slow aging drug. However, if it is taken in normal therapeutic doses, it improves performance. Pharmacokinetics testosterone is used by IM root, transdermal patches, topical gels, and buccal tablets. It is metabolized by liver and then excreted by urine. Adverse effect of androgens. In females, Masculinization, acne, unwanted facial hair, voice deepening, muscle development, and it can also cause menstrual irregularities. In male, it causes impotency, periapism, decreased pregnatogenesis, and gynecomastia. In children, it causes abnormal sex maturation. General effects has uh, includes increased LDL and HDL ratio. It increases risk of coronary heart disease and peripheral edema. In athletes, if it is used in earlier and young age, the use of steroids can cause premature closing of bone epiphysis, which results in stunt growth. It can also cause testicular atrophy and hepatic abnormalities. Next drug is antiandrogens. <coughs> Antiandrogens are the drugs that stop the action of androgens by interfering with its production or by blocking their receptors. These drugs include, include high dose of ketoconazole, which is an antifungal drug. Then we have finasteride and uterosteroid, which is also used in BPH. They are 5 alpha reductase inhibitors. You, also, you must also remember that earlier we had studied alpha adrenergic antagonists are also used for BPH, for example, terazosine and alphazosine. Sometimes, combination of the two drugs, that is, 5 alpha reductase inhibitors and alpha adrenergic antagonists, are used to remove acute symptoms of BPH, for example, acute urinary retention, urinary incontinence, renal insufficiency, and recurrent UTI. Flutamide is used in prostatic carcinoma. The next topic is contraceptives. Contraceptives are the drugs that prevent conception by three methods. Either it prevent ovulation, or it impair gametogenesis or gamete maturation or it impair implantation of fetus. The major classes are combination of estrogen and progestin. These include oral, transdermal patches, or vaginal rings. The oral drugs are most commonly used 
and they are highly effective. They have monophasic drugs and triphasic drugs. Monophasic drugs are those which has constant dose of estrogen and progesterone. And triphasic drugs are those which has constant dose of estrogen and then gradually increasing dose of progesterone. These drugs are used for 21 days and the remaining 9 days or 7 days we use Plicabo and as soon as the hormonal therapy is stopped, bleeding occurs. Then we have transdermal patches in which a single contraceptive patch is applied each week for 3 weeks to the abdomen, upper torso or buttock and the fourth week is patch free. It is less effective in obese women. Then we have vaginal ring. The ring is inserted vaginally for 3 weeks and the fourth week is ring free. Then we have progestin only. These have progesterone only. They include pills, injectable progestins, then we have implants and intrauterine devices. The pills are less effective than the combination of estrogen and progesterone contraceptives and it produces menstrual irregularities. However, they are used for dictating mothers or in conditions where estrogen is contraindicated. Injectable progestins such as medrosi progesterone is administered every three months by IM or subcutaneous route. The side effects are weight gain, osteoporosis and amenorrhea. So we always try to prescribe this contraceptive only for two years and not more than two years. Then we have progestin implants. These are single capsules which are four centimeter long and they are placed subdermally in the upper arm. It provides contraceptive for three years. It is highly effective um, and the patient can stay um, without conception for three years. Uh, the side effects are headache and irregular menstrual bleeding. Then we have intrauterine devices which are highly effective. It can be used for as long as five years. <coughs> However, it is contraindicated in those patients who have history of PID, that is pelvic inflammatory diseases and ectopic pregnancy. The third is postpartum contraceptive or also known as emergency contraceptives. These are three types. High doses of estrogen plus progesterone, which is a combination of two. In this we have 100 microgram of ethanyl estradiol and 0.5 mg of levonorgestrel. Then we have high dose of progesterone only, which has 0.75 mg of levonorgestrel and it is used within 72 hours after intercourse which is followed by second dose after 12 hours. The third emergency drug you have read earlier was mifepristine. Action mechanism of contraceptive, uh, the exact action mechanism is unknown. However, estrogen we all know inhibits ovulation and progestin thickens the cervical mucus and hampers the sperm transport. Adverse effects include headache, nausea, vomiting, breast tenderness and fluid retention. Always remember that if the contraceptive have estrogen and progesterone, then it will have adverse effects of both estrogen and progesterone. However, if it is being used as a single drug, then it will only exhibit the drug side effects which you are using. So it includes serious thromboembolism, thrombophlebitis, hypertension, MI, cerebral and coronary thrombosis. It has carcinogenic effects, good effects and bad one. It decreases the endometrial and ovarian cancer risk. However, it increases the cervical cancer risk. It has metabolic effect as well. It will cause weight gain. It causes serum lipid effects, that is estrogen, increases HDL and decreases LDL. Contraindications of contraceptives. You will not use it in patients who are suffering from cerebrovascular disease, thromboembolic disease, 
estrogen dependent neoplasms, liver disease or pregnancy. Thank you.